Are you ready for the most thrilling video we've ever created? Guys, as you know, I have done every kind of craziness you could imagine before. I jumped from space, got stranded on a mountain cliff for 24 hours, got stuck hanging off a crane. I was even stranded at sea. And now, here comes an insanely wild video. I'm challenged by the world's biggest YouTuber with over 100 million subscribers, the one and only Mr. Beast. Hey, Orkun, this is Mr. Beast, and I hear you have a reputation for spending time in extreme places. So, I have a challenge for you. I want you to find two mountains and stay in a hammock in between the two of them. Good luck, bet you can't do it. He wanted me to stay in a hammock in between two mountains for 24 hours. Well, I'm a crazy guy. Why would I hesitate? Honestly, I'm incredibly excited to be challenged by the world's greatest YouTuber, but since it's an extremely intimidating challenge, I can't hold myself back from literally shitting my pants out of fear. I don't know if you can see, there's a tiny hammock over there. The height measures 80 meters. You see the cliff over there. We tied the hammock between those mountains with a rope. Of course, we have a safety team supporting us, but I will be staying there for 24 hours. Jimmy, that's a really good challenge that you've given me, but I just remember that I'm afraid of the heights, so maybe I'm not gonna be able to do it, but I, I think I'm gonna do it. You are fucked. Let's get me out to that cliff so I can stay there for 24 hours. Once I'm up, I won't be able to come down anyway. All right, let's go. Here we go this way. We'll climb up to that spot. Our station is right there. We will explain all the safety measures we have taken. Well, the rocks are being drilled, and just like setting up a climbing course, ropes are securely tied there. But how much weight can the ropes carry? Are those rocks sturdy enough? If there's a slight tremor, could the rocks break apart? Could the mountain collapse? Would anything happen to me? So many questions. Jimmy, we know that you have started dubbing your videos in Turkish for us to enjoy, but come on. What kind of challenge is that? I would prefer a challenge that is more humane. You wouldn't even do this to your worst enemy. I think he's trying to destroy me to take over the YouTube turkey. This project is definitely designed for that purpose. By the way, the dubbing feature will be available to us soon. That way, we will be watched globally, just like Jimmy. Let's see if we have been able to take our safety precautions. What is protecting me? What am I grasping onto? How come I'm not falling down below? Let's check out. All our safety measures were checked by Umut. Could you tell us a bit? We've set up a rope system between two rocks inside a canyon. Okay. We rigged a hammock in the middle so that you could stay there. We also installed a safety line consisting of two ropes on top of it. Is it safe? Absolutely. Cool. We also took a very effective safety measure. Iron, come here. Come here, Aaron. <laughs> Goodbye, wifey. Anyway, the cliff is not of any concern to me. It's just a scenic view. I need to think this way. I feel like giving a farewell speech, but I won't. Damn, no farewells. I won't go down that easily. Don't talk big. I'm getting scolded by my wife. Don't talk big. Mutlu ol, iyi bak kendine. It would be really bad if I were to fall down before even getting there. Let's go then. If I have to fall, let me fall at night at least. What's that? Am I really going? Oh, that sounds good. It's very high. I have to move fast. Oh my! How can I climb up here? Now I have to do this somehow. Damn, it's really high. Let's do this. Man, this is the most uncomfortable place on earth. Feels like I'm here for fishing, but I'll get comfortable soon, I suppose. I hang all my belongings there. I hang my bag and my cameras here as well. A slightest move here will take way too longer than usual, I suppose. Let's see. This is actually the pillar of my home. A humble home. This place can't possibly be three meters long. They fooled me. Check this out. Aligning myself from the corner to measure. With an extremely taut rope, it might stretch to three meters, but I highly doubt it. It's a perfect fit for one person. Let me reveal the funniest feature of the hammock to you. I can unzip it within this triangle. I will use this for peeing at night. Come to me. It'll take me 45 minutes to grab from here. 
It's unstable. Oh my god. Just a moment. Let me grab this and take a seat. Yes. I put the bag over there. I can grab or drop anything from here, but if I forget to zip up the bag, everything will fall down. I'll also attach my phone here and swing it downwards. Let's take a drone tour. There she goes. One, two, three. Hello there. Perfect. Let's take a look around. I see the forest, trees, and a small hill. Not much around, just a beautiful forest surrounding us. There's a river. Let's go down there. Perfect. You can have a lovely morning shower here. Look, there's a bear cave right here. I'm entering the bear cave. Looks like a bear's den to me. You see Burak and Firkin filming me. You see Umut there. Oh, those rascals are having a barbecue. Aaron, wifey, let me fan the barbecue. I'm here to help. Hey, look, I've made it. <laughs> the drone flight went really well. I even went in and out of the caves below and even blew the barbecue fire. Look at me. Why am I the one playing the superhero for someone else's barbecue? Oh, for God's sake. The sun is going down and it's getting chilly, ruining this puzzle to be the first person to solve it at 80 meters. Believe it or not, I'm usually so impatient that I can't even do puzzles at home. Let's find the corners first. Hey look, there's my wife! How funny, she's somewhere around here, and I guess I'm there. Two thousand years later. Enough is enough, take this away from me. Who needs puzzles when there's such a beautiful view? From the very beginning, I started feeling that today would be an incredible experience for me. But first I should protect my living space and create a comfortable environment for myself. My jacket has arrived with a meatball sandwich. I'm cold. Let me put this on. I can't even zip up my jacket. It's impossible. How am I supposed to get into a sleeping bag? It's a mystery meatball sandwich. Oh, it's a beautiful view to enjoy your meal. Not a single tomato in the sandwich? You're on a cliff. Just eat what you find. No need to question it. Oh. Send me an errand, please. The temperature suddenly dropped. I'll take off my sleeping bag to cover my feet because it's really cold. Unfolding and settling on the mat at this altitude, piece of cake, an incredibly cold breeze coming from down below. Not bad. Well, I can say that I've adapted to living here. I'm like a chameleon, easily adaptable. Drop me anywhere, I quickly adjust and live comfortably. <sighs> As the nightfall approaches, I need make some arrangements. Let's see how I'll get through the night at 80 meters high. They will send over my sleeping bag and jacket. I need both of them really bad, because the temperature has dropped to 5 degrees right now. Not cool, but the ambience is quite well. I want to show you with a flashlight, but you probably won't be able to see below. Let me turn on the light. Sky is beautiful. Stars are wonderful too. I have a blissful sleep in this place. My jacket approaches as if it's floating in midair. Let me tell you, the oxygen also makes you high. Come here. Let's see what we have here. A walkie-talkie. Let's see. Hello, hello? No hello on the radio. There's a super important protocol that I have no idea. Hi. I'm hungry. Would you like a hot dog on the barbecue? Yes. Awesome. They handle the food for me, so I never go hungry. I'd do anything for a hot dog sandwich right now. I placed GoPro there, but it'll probably fall. I think the title of this video should be Tight Night. This sleeping bag handles minus 30 degrees. If this doesn't work for me, then nothing will. I even had an ice bath today. By the way, if you haven't watched the ice bath video yet, make sure to watch it. I've been taking ice baths twice a week for the past three months. Every morning after a regular shower, I take a cold shower and do breathing exercises. I feel great and stress-free. I feel happy. I feel like I'm genuinely enjoying life. So, highly recommended. Having an ice bath, for example, feels much more challenging to me. I'd prefer 10 space jumps over an ice bath. Interesting, isn't it?
I feel like I'm living life just like Marat does normally. He can't do shit. His ass feels too damn big. I'm just like him right now. Let's see what's in my food container. A bottle of water, how generous. God bless you. What's this? A sandwich and nothing else. Let me eat this. Thank you guys. Bon appétit. Who bought this? Damn, it's chicken sausage. Is it chicken sausage? Yes, isn't it delicious? It's smoked. Once again, I've become a victim of the production team. <laughs> to be honest, I'm full and in good spirit. However, the thought of what could happen at night here makes me anxious. After keeping busy with my stuff, sleeping seems like the best choice. I'm going to sleep. Good night, y'all. See you in the morning. Not expecting much sleep. I think I can handle the cold weather, but the tightness of the rope makes me uncomfortable. Guess I'll fall asleep after a while. Good night, y'all. Good morning. I think I couldn't sleep until four in the morning. I didn't check. It might be wrong. Throughout the night, I truly thought that there's a time and place for everything. It's impossible to sleep comfortably hanging here. I need to go home and sleep in your bed. My back hurts so bad. It's such a beautiful view. Freezing from the cold was an understatement throughout the night. If you think I'll leave here the same way I climbed, you're wrong. Guys, I'm going to bungee jump from 80 meters down here. I'll touch the water with my finger and bounce back. How about that? Take me out of here. The weather is very nice now. I slept well at night. That made my back very uncomfortable after a while. Did I slide on the hammock? Yes, I did, apparently. I could use a bit more sleep. This is our last meal up here. What's this? Dude, what's this? What did you wrap this meal in? Dude, what's this? Is this meal really meant for me? A thoughtful person would prepare a lavish breakfast with a warm village bread for someone who shivered all night. Animals. Shame. I wish I had a delicious breakfast. At least I have tomatoes. They say it helps with the pain. What a groundbreaking revelation. I decided to jump down. It seems like you won't take me down. I wonder if I can glide down from here like parachuting with a bag. I'd expect a crispier Izmir bagel rather than a rubber dough. Take me down. Here I come. I didn't like the way the rope passed underneath. I'm down finally. See you later. Oh, I forgot my bag. Pull me back, will you? Something just happened. Bye bye home. The world's most goddamn tiny place. The view and its location is great though. This is how you buy a house in Istanbul. I'm coming a bit unsteadily, but I made it. I had loosened the belt. Or did I tighten it this morning? Probably not. Help me, bro. Yes, thanks. Untie me for God's sake, untie me please. What I want to do is to lie face down right now. Out of the way, move away. Oh. If I could, lower back stretches backward, I'll be fine. Man, hanging like a corpse is not comfortable at all. I don't recommend it at all. Let my back pain go away and I'll be with you. We were expecting an inspirational speech. What speech? I've done it already. Have you ever doubted that I could not do this? Come on, just because I'm a smaller YouTuber than Mr. Beast, you underestimated me, huh? You know, the best part was, I meditated before sleep. I felt as if I were truly floating in the air because there was no contact with the ground. It truly felt like I was flying quite a bit, and I slept well. But at some point, the mat probably slipped, or the hammock shifted downward and I slid down along with it. Therefore, the load on my back started to increase. It was very cold, believe me, it was extremely cold. Cold breeze was coming from everywhere, but you know what? This cold was kind of soothing in a weird way. Overall, seriously, it was freaking nice. What's next, bro? I know already what's next. I'm going to Dubai to take solo skydiving training and jump from the plane alone. Then we'll come back to jump from Kamlika Tower and the Bosphorus Bridge and the third bridge and so on. We'll be jumping from bridge to bridge. If there's a tall building you want me to jump, just call me.
we have accomplished a challenging yet vibrant experience. I did, but please don't you ever attempt to do this. Subscribe to Mr. Beast now if you haven't. Hoping for Mr. Beast's support when we launch our international YouTube channel. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe. See you.